Welcome uh, WPP Stars here in Ocean Restaurant. Next dish is uh, one of our signature dishes. We came up with that three years ago. We take one of the beautiful carbineros, also from the, close to the Ile de Favol. Just take the head off. And break it up. Clean it. We're going to cure it for 10 minutes. We have here sugar, sugar salt mix. So now we have it in here for 15 minutes. You can feel right away the texture is very different. It takes a little bit of the moisture and makes it more tasty, makes it more crunchy, more knacky. Mm -hmm. so. And we open it up from the back, from the bottom, from the belly. How you call it? Is it just the belly? I don't know. The important is that you don't cut through, otherwise you don't have a... You know, you have to make sure that the carbonara stays together on the top, on the bottom. So, just to take that stuff here out. Yeah. You don't cut through. Then I, I wash it one more time to get all this other stuff from the intestines out. Yeah. So. And then you have it like this. Beautiful carbonero. the back packet. Thomas, can you come back to me again? <laughs> you know, see really the beautiful structure from the carbonyl. And then you have to beat it up but very, very gently, not very, very careful. Try to keep it then around two millimeters, huh? so it really looks like a tiger. Really keep it on, so you get this beautiful mark. The main thing is that it has to stick together. As soon as you have a hole inside, it's fucked. Huh? So you have to be really gentle. Beautiful. Very nice. So now, you always prepare your ice water right away, have the oven set, and then we steam it for 1 minute 20. Start. That's the thing. Yeah. Okay, now it's steaming. Just make sure you have right away ice water, so right away you get it out, so they don't keep on cooking. Yeah? They have to go re right away in the ice. And here we have the very thin stripes of the tocino, Portuguese uh, ham, pork ham, as from the back, not from the, the belly. 
And here we have some uh, noodles from the sepia, no not sepia, uh, calamari. How do you call it? Calamari. Uh, squid. Squid noodles. And later we, we dress it all together. We just garnish it out with some uh, lemon basil and normal basil from here. Some chives. Then we powder it off with some uh, the powder from the head. And then at the end we just give some really, really powerful carbonara sauce on top. You know, we always refresh it every day with a lot of heads. We take some of the head, the inside these parts, we dry and make powder out of it. And the other stuff goes all in the sauce. So we have a immense powerful uh, carbonara sauce. That was 1 minute 20 on steam. <sighs> right away nice. It's the main important thing, otherwise they cook through. You see? And you can see when they get a little bit, uh, you see the change of the of the, the, the texture. It gets now a little bit white. So you have to be careful now because if it's not cooked, it's not gonna stick together. So and then put on my glasses. Let me open it up. So I need to be careful. Not take the foil off, not that it tear it apart. Sorry, accident. Then we turn it around, jump, jump, jump. So then you have actually a leaf, if you want to call it like that, the leaf of carabinier. Very thin, very juicy, you know, it's just steamed very light. So kind of catch nine here. So then we just it quickly, can we I give it a more straight shape? Hmm. So, the transmitter. And then you just cut it really careful in tagliatelle sized noodles. <clears throat> should be the final result. Very thin, maybe one millimeter thin. Fine cut tagliatelle of carabinero. So, because then we're ready. Now we, I cut it up. I press it in a little round uh, silicone form so we get the shape. And then, it's in the middle of the beach plate, no? And then, at the end of the day, it's supposed to be a really simple pasta dish. You no, know, like in Italy, not too much bullshit. Pure flavor, a little bit decoration. 
We mix it up, we have some uh, tocino inside, you know, a little bit fat from the pork. Some squids, they have a different texture to bite on, you know, that they have different... Here we have some small chives. Cut it like this, yeah. The sauce, how much? Sauce, we got sauce, we have the molio. it a little bit with that uh, really strong carbonara powder okay then we have here some uh, in, in, in carbonara butter we have some a little bit peppers and ginger we just roasted a little bit in the, in the fat from the carbonara here and there just to give it with the ginger some fresh our So and then at the end we go like this to the client. And then comes the sauce. Are you ready? Ready? And then you have here this really 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 powerful sauce. You put outside in front of the guests. So. So. Enjoy. Coffee.